What's up guys, this is Shaveen and in this video I will tell you guys how you can fix the Windows update problem on your PC. So this should work if you have Windows 10 or any Windows for that matter. And before I begin with the video, I would just like to tell you guys that if you guys encounter any software related problems, then just comment down below or email us and we'll make a solution video for you guys. Now let's begin with the video. So first, let's discuss some general solutions to this problem and then we'll move on to more prominent ones. So the first one is just freeing up some space in your C drive so that the update can actually install on it and also remove any third party softwares that you might have on your PC because it might hinder with the process of updating Windows as well. Also make sure that you check your internet connection that it is stable for the update to download and you can also try pausing the update and resuming it multiple times to check whether that fixes your issue. So in order to do that, just go to your Windows search and search for Windows Update Settings. Once you are at Windows Update Settings, just click on Pause Update for 7 days and then restart your computer. After that, again go to your Windows Update Settings and then click on Resume Update. And do this couple of times and check whether that fixes your issue. You can also free up some space by going to your Windows Settings and then click on system, then storage, and then under the C local drive, just select temporary files section. In the temporary file section, select the items that you want to clear out to free up space and then just click on remove files button to delete them. Now let's begin with the actual solutions to this video. So the first one is trying to fix this issue using the troubleshooter. So just go to your Windows settings and then update and security. And after that, go to Troubleshoot. In the Troubleshoot settings, just go to Get Up and Running section. And then select the Windows Update option. After that, just run the Troubleshooter and follow the steps displayed on your screen by the Troubleshooter. And once you finish troubleshooting, just restart your PC and check whether your problem is fixed. The next step to solving this update problem issue is restarting your Windows Update service. So just go to your Windows search and then search for Run. In Run, just type in Services and then click on OK. Once you open up Services, try to locate Windows Update on the Service window. Then just double click on it and then make sure that the startup type is set to Automatic. Then just press Stop and after that, just locate the Background Intelligence Transfer Service and then do the same thing here as well. So just double click on it. Make sure that the startup type is set to automatic and then just stop the service. Once you do this, just go to your Windows Explorer and then go to this PC. In this PC, just go to local C drive and then Windows and then software distribution. In software distribution, just go to the download folder and then delete everything there. Once you delete everything, then again go to your services tab and then just re-enable the Windows Update service and the Background Intelligence Transfer service. Once you do this, just restart your PC and check whether your problem is fixed. If that does not fix your problem, don't worry, we still have a lot of solutions to go. The next one is manually installing your Windows Update file. So just go to your control panel by going to search and then searching for control panel. In control panel, go to uninstall a program and then click on view installed updates. Here you'll see a list of all the Windows update that you have installed on this PC. So just select the latest update. Generally, it is the first one in the list and you'll find a KB number attached to it. For example, KB45 something something. So just note down this number and then just uninstall this file because it may be corrupted and that's why you're facing this issue. So uninstall this file, then just go to the website, I'll link in the description below. This is the Microsoft Catalog website and this will have all the Windows update that you might need. So just search for the KB number in the search box. And after that, just install the Windows update from the list. Make sure that you select the right bit version. If you do not know which bit you're running, then just go to your Windows search and then search for control panel. Then in control panel, go to system and security and then system. And then here you can check your system type to be a 64 bit one or a 32 bit one. So whichever one you have, just download it manually and then install it and then restart your PC and check whether it fixed your problem. 
The next step is to go to your Windows search and the search for Windows Update Settings. In Windows Update Settings, just scroll down and go to Advanced Options. Then in Advanced Option, under the Update Options column, just turn on Receive Updates from other Microsoft products when updating Windows and then scroll down and find Delivery Optimization. Then in Delivery Optimization, make sure that you turn on Allow Downloads from other PCs and then select PC on my local network and PC on the internet. After that, restart your PC and check whether it fixed your problem. The last two main steps to fix this issue is using command prompt and PowerShell commands. So just go to your Windows search and then search for command prompt. Then just right click on it and then click on run as an administrator. Once you run the command prompt as an administrator, I'll just link these commands down in the description below for you to check out. Just copy these commands and then paste it onto the command prompt one by one in the same order that they are written in the description below. So first we have all the net commands and then we have the rename commands and then again we have some net commands and after that we will have the DISM commands and then SSC space slash scan now command. So after you run all of these commands then just restart your PC and check whether your problem is fixed. The next step is opening up your PowerShell. So just go to your Windows search and then search for PowerShell. Then just right click on it and then click on run as an administrator. After that, just paste in the following commands that I'll link down in the description below for you to check out as well. And follow the steps on your screen. And once you finish up with the process, just restart your PC and check whether your problem is fixed. Now, the last solution that I have is changing up the date and time settings as it may also help you fix this issue. So just go to your Windows settings and then search date and time. Once you open up the date and time settings, just make sure that the date, the time and the time zone are set correctly onto this page. And once you make sure that everything is correct and according to real time scenarios here, then restart your PC and check whether it fixed your problem. Now, if none of the solutions fixed your issue, what I can recommend is that you can try skipping the maintenance schedule of your Windows update and you can do that by going to the Windows support website. I'll link it down in the description below for you to check out. Just download the show or hide updates troubleshooter package onto your PC from this website and then double click on WSU how hide dot cap. Once you click on this file, just click on the next button and then click on hide updates option. After that, select the update causing the problem. Generally, it is the first one. Then just click on the next button, follow the procedure and restart your PC to check whether it fixed your problem. Two other ways that you can fix this issue is just manually downloading the Windows update from the update assistant. So just go to the Windows 10 download page. Again, I'll link it down in the description below for you to check out. Just click on the update now button and then save the update assistant installer to your device. After that, just double click on the Windows 10 update file to launch the Windows update assistant and then just click on update now and it will automatically download the Windows 10 update for you. Then restart your PC and check whether your problem is fixed. And the last step is just flashing a new Windows onto your computer using a bootable drive. Now this step is quite tedious and not recommended for non-technical persons and I will not be covering this in this video but if you guys want me to make another video on this then just comment down below or email us and I can make that video as well. So this was it for this video guys. I hope you liked this video and this video helped to solve your issue. If it did then just comment down below that it helped you and like the video and subscribe to the channel and if it didn't then just again comment down below or email us your specific problem and we can make a video on that as well and i'll see you in the next video until then bye